Hi, I'm Mr. Reader, a big fan of keeping up with the latest news about China. I just wrapped up a fantastic 5,000-year journey across Chinese civilization. Now, I've got a clue for setting off another amazing trip. If I'm right, then coming here would be the right move. Surprise! Nice to meet you, sir. I'm a singer from China's Tang Dynasty. Holy moly! You can talk and walk? Relax, there's more excitement ahead. This is Xi'an, also called Chang'an in ancient China, the capital city of two of China's most prosperous dynasties through history, the Han and Tang dynasties. It is also the starting point of the ancient Silk Road. Just as I thought, it is the Silk Road. Silk, with its splendid colors, soft and comfy texture, is hailed as the rosy clouds of the East and is also cherished in the West. Sericulture and silk production originated in ancient China, making it a crucial invention that influenced the material civilizations of the world. Oh, this reminds me of Chinese silk, often appearing in some artworks of ancient Greece and Rome. After the opening of ancient Silk Road, merchants became regulars, boosting trade and cultural exchange between the East and the West. Now let's have a glimpse at the art along the Silk Road. Are we paving the way for a modern Silk Road? Take it easy, my friend. We're in Dunhuang of Gansu Province. This is a key place along the ancient Silk Road, also a traffic hub between the then Central Plains and Western regions. And it is also where various nationalities and cultures converged. The grottos here are world-renowned. The Oriental and Occidental civilizations, including Buddhist culture and art, ran across and converged in here, becoming a historical root of Dunhuang Grotto's art. The sculptures and murals are distinctive from those traditional ones in China because of the foreign influence, especially from the ancient Greek and ancient India. Look, it depicts the Chinese envoy Zhang Chen's expedition to the western regions over 2,000 years ago. And here's another that shows a couple of foreign princes listening to Buddhist chants. Civilizations of the east and west are sparkling in Duangwang grottos. I saw so many murals painted, the scenes of dancing and singing. How badly I wish I could enjoy the music immersively. I'll do you a favor. How beautiful it is! Where are we right now? This is Xinjiang Uyghur Autonomous Region, where the ancient kingdom of Jiuzhu was located. Also a fortress along the Silk Road. This graceful dance is the famous Jiuzhu Dance not only getting all the rage in China's Tang Dynasty, but also profoundly influencing the world's music development and later generations. Its music, dance, and musical instruments have widely spread to Japan, Vietnam, India, Myanmar, and even Europe. Whoa! The amazing music and dance beyond the national boundaries becomes the envoy of exchanges between civilizations for mankind. Hey, sir, would you like something to drink? Hmm, this cup is unique, but it seems familiar. Oh, I remember now. It resembles a wine vessel called Riton from ancient Greece. But what is this Western-style cup doing here? This is an agate cup shaped like an animal head with a golden mouth. It might be a gift from the Western regions, or made by Sogdian craftsmen living in Chang'an, or the result of learning from others by local craftsmen. While its origin remains uncertain, it undoubtedly represents the perfect fusion of Eastern and Western cultures along the Silk Road. It makes sense. Let's embrace the East and West. Guys, come on here. Let's throw a party. Oh, you guys are like on a band tour. Indeed we are. Cheers. To the diversity of civilizations. Cheers. <laughs>